she gets her hair from her mom, her eyes from her dad, and her drugs from her grandmother's medicine cabinet. It's a lock your meds campaign, so it's basically encouraging people to be sure that they secure any kind of prescriptions and not to share any of their prescriptions, even if it's with the best intention, because um, that can cause to um, many problems, and it's also against the law. So we want to make sure that people are just aware of that, but mostly it's just to make sure that our youth are not having access to prescription drugs. This is for needles and sharps. Basically, you want to make sure you put any kinds of, this would be if you have um, diabetes or anything like that, you'd actually put your needles into one of these bottles and um, put a top on it and tape it, and you can leave it with your trash or bring it to the solid waste, and they actually will take care of them. If you have liquids, unfortunately, you have to do kind of the old school, which is you would put it into a uh, kitty litter or coffee grinds and then you can throw it out into your trash because there's really nowhere to put it at this time. But um, you do not want to flush it because it does affect our water sh systems and so that's something we no longer do. Don't flush it. So come along. If you have patches or pills, 24 hours uh, a day, there is this wonderful drop box at the Bradford Police Department. There's also one at the Sheriff's Department in Newfane and Bellows Falls um, Police Department and you literally just Put any pills or patches into there and you're off. We really care about it in our own community because we have a high usage of um, misuse of prescription drugs among our youth and we want to make sure that we take away any temptation, much like <clears throat> locking your alcohol cabinet. We want to make sure people are securing the drugs that they have um, but also getting rid of any that they don't need.